Hi friends, you are going to talk about the single sign-on. SSO is how to work and how to do benefits. If you use a single sign-on, a user can use a set of credentials and multiple products to access an authentication mechanism in the single sign-on. For example, there are 5 products in a company. The user has 5 products in a user. So, these products are different passwords used to access a lot of challenging issues. If you use a credential, you can access a lot of products in a lot of easy and convenient. So, if you support this, the single sign-on. If you look at a picture, if you look at a company in a company, you can log in to all the users to all the products. Suppose anda company le SSO support pernah na, user bandu, orang orang mula login pernah podo, orang orang semua produk itu akses pernah mudiyo. Single sign on bandu orang agreement madri. Services akses pernah sila users, the users authenticate pernah the identity provider. Indo muntuk kulo orang agreement tam pati na single sign on. Or simple example papo, na bandu Google Drive service bandu akses pernah try pernah. Orang ini nak bandu Google account page kami kerang. The Google account create pun apa lagi, ini adalah Google Drive service yang akses pun boleh. Jika pati na, orang account use pun ini, nama lala Google lirik semua produk yang akses pun boleh. Once na single credentials create pun apa lagi, Google lirik kerana ibu lo produk yang service ini nala akses pun boleh. Over produk na anda individual sign in pun awasi make kerja, ada credentials create pun awasi make kerja, ada orang over credentials use pun ini ibu lo produk yang nala akses pun boleh. Jadi dalam pati na the single sign on dia benefit. The single sign-on process is how to work with the user. A user can try a service to access a Google Drive. If you try it, you can check the authentication token in the request. Suppose the authentication token or sample token is not the identity provider. So, you can create a Google account. If you create a user and use a password, you can create a Google account. Once you create a user, the identity provider will use a sample token or authentication token. That token is set in the browser. If you request the service, you will check the Google Drive and check the request for the authentication token. If you are there, you can access the Google Drive service. So every time a user access the service, you can check the request for the authentication token. Suppose you can hand over the identity provider. So this is how you can do the single sign-on process. Hi friends, if you want to use this information, you can use this information. Thank you so much for your support and all the best for your career. Thank you.